This is Ribbon coming to you live from Hyenas in Plano, Texas for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Get up for Tony Hitchcock! <laughs> Plano, Texas makes a fucking noise! <laughs> Yowie, wowie, Brian Redband's here, hey everybody. Hey, guys. Hey, guys, for behind me. We are live. Kill Tony, Plano, Texas. There's a lot of fucking white people energy going on in this room right now. It is powerful. This is very exciting. This is our first ever Kill Tony in Plano, Texas. I've been getting the scoop for the past hour about what you guys are all about. This is very exciting. A very, very diverse crowd. Uh, all shapes and sizes of white people. Look at this. Look at this. Some, some weird looking people in this room right here. Look at this fucking young Bobby Kennedy over here. <laughs> like, it's like on steroids and had yes. the fucking Benjamin Button disease at the same time. <laughs> Top button, rosy cheeks. We have fucking, we have uh, Donald Trump wears Waldo right here. <laughs> wave to, st stand up and wave to these people. Where's, where's Waldo, the hip Donald Trump supporter? This guy looks like he's trying to make bicycles great again. <laughs> so, uh, so much fun. Uh, this is exciting to be out. Life is good. It's important to know that uh, you can enjoy yourself and travel the world. We're here in Plano. We drove through a fucking super thunderstorm to get here. Some clouds of the cumulus nature. There's a lady that is a fan of thunderstorms over there. Just a random fan of bad weather. Wow, it's crazy how much louder that is than my voice. You would think that the host of the show would be like super clear and loud and powerful, but nope, just at any point, the way the sound on this show is done is thunder drowns out everything, everybody. Isn't that great? Do I sound loud enough in the back to you guys? Should I be louder? All right, well, since we're having a conversation about it, I think, it, I guess it's okay. <laughs> You're good, Tony. Good to see you again, pal. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Uh, we normally never have guests on the road. Isn't that crazy? You guys are all fans of the... You guys listen to this podcast a lot, right? You guys are fans of stand-up comedy? Well, we got really lucky. It turns out this weekend, uh, one of our really, really great friends and a past guest, a uh, multiple-time past guest of this show, is in town here all weekend, actually, starting tomorrow and the next night here in Plano, Texas. He's one of the best comedians in the world. He's one of our best friends. I started with this guy 12 years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a little special treat. Your guest tonight, the great Adam Ray, everybody! What?! What? From Ghostbusters. About last night. He's in Plano all weekend. Plano, baby! His new album oh, right. is out now. Read the Room. Available yeah. everywhere. You've been on the show multiple times. You're so much fun. Pumped you, to be here. You do a podcast with the great uh, Brad Williams. Brad Williams, yeah. And he is also here. He's under the table, He's under everybody. your table right now. Check. Right now. You get a free you vodka a soda if you find... You get a you Brad, get a Brad Williams. Williams. You get a Brad Williams. Have you, have you, have you seen the online uh, uh, trolling back and forth between Brad Williams and our good friend Weeman of the show? Uh, oh, yeah. Say that, it, it's getting going pretty head deep. To head. They, they need to do wow. like a roast battle together. Head to, so. head, to head, which for us is knee to knee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These, uh, guys are, uh, these guys are having midget wars out there. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go right that. out and say it. I don't know if you're allowed to call them that anymore, yeah, but they'll always be goddamn midgets to me. You know what I'm saying? 
We're in Plano. I think anything flies. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right, Waldo? There he is. <laughs> you missed it. Yeah. I already called him that. Did you know did that? You, did you really? Yeah. Yeah. No, wow. I can tell. We keep everything Great separate Great minds here. think alike. Where, uh, did you get the coats? Was it gifted, or did you buy it with your own uh, hard-earned money? Oh, my oh, well, God. Jeez, you're trying to make us cry right out of the gate? Shit. Pass down. It's my dad's. He's just the last thing he gave to me before he passed away in hospice. <laughs> Don't not wear this coat to hyenas. <laughs> All right, shit, man. I'm excited to jump right into this thing. You know, Adam, we do have a band on this show. Oh, it's my favorite, favorite thing do. in the world. We do. Literally the greatest thing on any comedy show is this band. I agree. And yeah. for, of course, we're so close to the border that for immigration reasons, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. for immigration purposes, Joel Jimenez could not make it tonight. Oh. But he's with Sorry. 300 of his best friends in a very small cage. <laughs> yeah. Everything's fine. Perfect. Uh, so no drums tonight. However, it just so happens to be that we do have the leader of the band, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. The best damn band in the land. Every single episode, he commits to staying in and being a different character. We never know what he's going to be at a separate farther in dressing room than we had tonight. So uh, we're all going to find out together. Maybe it's the return of one of his most famous characters. Maybe it's a brand new character that we've never seen before. Plano, Texas, I present to you the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, the Kill Tony Band. Yeah, baby. I Tonight. Just, I just figured out who it was, Tony. This is very exciting. Oh, oh wait, a, what? <laughs> wait a second. No oh, way. Oh, my God. Finally. Is this, is this <laughs> who I, Oh, is this George W. Bush? What? Wow. Hey! I love it. This is incredible. Oh, awesome. What a special treat. This is his first time. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, my God. This guy gets yep. it. Shake the Two hand. staunch Republicans. <laughs> yeah. That's a photo op right there. Oh All right. God. You don't get to start chants around here. Sit your ass down, <laughs> little fucking nerd. <laughs> George W. Bush, how exciting is this? You're joining Kill Tony for the first time ever. Welcome to the show. It's good to be back home in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> now you know the jacket what? makes sense. <laughs> With like, he, he wore this jacket on the plane today. We all know it's like 100 degrees and horrible humidity. <laughs> and everyone's like, what the fuck are you wearing this jacket for? And then we were trying to guess what it was. I guessed Indiana Jones. You, you, you said the Rocketeer. <laughs> yeah. Great guess. And I said, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Dubs, uh, I'm going uh, to ask a little technical favor of you. Do you think we could oh. bump oh. that out to that edge and have the people go in front of you? Uh, like that, yeah. Uh, whatever you say, I'm not the president anymore. <laughs> <laughs> wow, George W. Bush, this is exciting. This is an you, honor. you live very close to here, is that correct? <laughs> you could say that. Oh, uh, yeah, you could say that. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> He's got a good sense of humor. He really this does. Guy. Especially for a, a massive serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. Wow. Wow. So uh, welcome, welcome, Georgia. Do you know the show at all? Have you ever seen an episode of Kill Tony? Big fan, big fan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was your favorite thing that's ever happened in the show's history? Uh, at one time, uh, Red Band farted. It was pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a deep wow. cut. You have a real brilliant <laughs> sense of humor on you, George W. Bush. I've been painting a lot lately, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome, welcome. So we have the president of the United States, George W. Bush. We have the great Adam Ray, Red Band, his soundboard. Which brings me to this, this big, dirty bucket, Plano bucket of yeah, destiny, baby. everybody. Anything can happen. I mean, this is absolute chaos tonight. I feel a crisp energy in the room <laughs> This reminds me of like the feeling in an arena before a big UFC event. It's just sort of extra quiet. Uh, the president's walking around for some reason. Uh, so you guys know how it works. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up when you hear the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry Oaklawn Bear. Uh, there's the goddamn Sharpie marker I was looking for. 
What's your favorite part of the show? I loved how you were killing time. That was hilarious. Yeah, I needed to fucking get my Sharpie marker. You guys ready to start this fucking show or what? The stairs are right there, by the way. Don't come on this stage any other way. Oh, yeah, and right there. So come on the stage either fucking way. Uh... Plano, I, I felt you there, but I really need a big burst of energy here. You guys ready to start this yeah. fucking show? All right. Then it shall begin. Your first comedian getting an uninterrupted 60 seconds on this stage and then talking with us about his or her life. Maybe we find out more about them. Something we should fucking know that we didn't find out from their boring set. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're kicking off the show tonight. Put your fucking hands together. For Elias Ashley. Here we go. Elias Ashley. The one and the only. Hey, hey, hey. Here he is. Come on, one more time for Elias, everybody. Thank you. Uh, it's been a rough week. My mother in law saw me naked, which is not as cool as all the videos I've seen on the internet led me to believe. I thought I was at home alone. My wife and kids were gone. I just assumed her mom was with them. I go strutting up to the front door naked because I had to do something. Look over to the side. She's standing right there. And I was like, oh, shit. Go running back towards my bedroom. And she says what she thinks will make me feel better. And she's like, don't worry. I didn't see anything. <laughs> and I was like, bitch, I worked all day. Like, it's been a long day for me. Like, let me fluff it up a little bit. Jesus. <laughs> Being judgmental as shit. It's not fun. I'm really bummed out that she saw me naked too because now I feel like she just judges my wife. <laughs> like, Jesus, really that? It's the best you could get? I don't know. I'm not... All right. Go ahead. Oh, that's the end of it. I was killing time. There you end. go. Beautiful. Elias Ashley, everyone. <laughs> Hell yeah. How are you, Elias? I'm good. How are you? Good. Look at you, you're a scary motherfucker, huh? <laughs> you look like I you try. rape the prison guards. <laughs> Only if they're asking for it. Hell yeah. Look at you, you fucking <laughs> big folk. Look at Security you. Security at Quiznos. Yeah. <laughs> I, lo I love the way your tits bounce when you laugh. Oh yeah, oh, me too. Sweet. That's actually what drew my wife to me. It wasn't the downstairs package, it was, it was the way the... my tits jiggle. Oh, wow, I love yeah. that. She's sort of a lesbian. Yeah, she is a little bit. She's into guys that look like obese Fred Flintstone. Yep. <laughs> yep, she gets the up top, but still she's not going to hell because she's not gay. Wow, I like your style, <laughs> really thought this through. I don't understand what you just said, but you said it with such swagger that I feel like it went over my head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I try. I like this guy. He's a straight shooter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Elias, you born and raised here in Texas? No, I was born in Oklahoma. I moved around quite a bit. Sounds I was in Oklahoma for six weeks. Calm wow. the fuck down. People are, people are just <laughs> booing their bordering states here. Yeah. <laughs> Just outgoing, outgoingly hateful of anyone not from their parts of the border. <laughs> I mean, that's some real fucking Texas shit right there. <laughs> so you were born in Oklahoma. What are you, you, some type of Indian or something like that? What are we talking about? <laughs> Barely. Enough Barely. that if I claim it, people get mad at me. Like it's, I'm like 132nd, so. 132nd? Yeah, I'm just evil white. That's all I am. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I work... <laughs> I work outside. I tan a lot. So yeah, I, what do you do outside? I'm an electrician. You're an electrician? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yikes. <laughs> uh, how, how do you, how'd you get into that field? Uh, I came back from overseas, and that was What the were you doing overseas? Oh, just hanging out, you know. Just uh, hanging out yeah, overseas. I was, I was in Iraq, but I don't want these people to clap just for that. Congratulations. So to, thank <laughs> you, sir. Well, that plan backfired. Thank you for your service. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Elias, you're being too humble. We're trying to figure out shit about yeah, your I life. Was, and you're was, like, oh, I was, I was just visiting overseas. I was in the In army. Iraq. The yeah. lovely, uh, I was at Sandals in Iraq. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just hanging out. And I don't want these people to clap, so I'm not going to tell you exactly what I was doing there. Yeah. No, I was in Iraq for a year or so. Came oh, back, yeah. moved to Texas. Needed a job, so I started doing electrician. Heck yeah, you went from Iraq to a rack of ribs. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nice. That deserved I, more. That was really funny. 
Yeah, I got out of, got out of the army four years ago and nice. said, uh, I don't have to work out anymore, so I'm fucking not. And this Heck is yeah. the body you get after Heck that. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You look like you haven't iran in a long time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Now, yeah. now you said uh, your um, that the videos that you usually see with uh, uh, mother in laws mm-hmm. uh, on in porn. So do yeah, you, yeah. you uh, do you, are you into porn? Uh, a little bit, not too much. Like, yeah. So also a lot would have been a, an <laughs> yeah, acceptable yeah, yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah, I was actually I w- wasn't prepared to come up here because I was sitting in the back watching porn. For real? Is that really no, true? Not, oh, not for real. <laughs> well, you look like a guy that I would believe that sentence from. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So don't joke about that when uh, it's probably I, real. That's fair. Yeah. Heck yeah. You, you tell a lot of like little fibs. You like little <laughs> lies during this interview I part. I like to keep people on their toes. You're like bluffy <laughs> instead of fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could write a joke like him, right? I guess so. You're adorable. How long have Thanks. you been doing stand-up? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half yes. years. Yep. All here in uh, Dallas, Texas? Yep. First place I did was right out in the bar here, so... And I know you probably don't want to do this, but I'm going to go back to Iraq here okay. for a second. Uh, what exactly were you doing overseas? Yeah, what were you doing over there? <laughs> I was looking for weapons of mass destruction, actually. Someone told me they were there. I don't... Yeah. Um, but no, I, was, I did security. Whoa. You did security? Yeah, I, I did security for people way higher ranking than me, so I just walked around and... It's like who? Anybody cool? Like Donald Rumsfeld oh, no, no, or anything like, like that? Not like... People like that, people you wouldn't know, just people that were slightly higher ranking than me. Wow. They're like, you're way more expendable than them, so. So you just did security, so mm-hmm. you didn't have to do any of the fighting and stuff. They're, you're just, they're, they're what just you, sort of like. What do you think security yeah, is? Security is all fighting. <laughs> it's like, like, you take care of this, right? Like, yeah, like, I was there to, if someone got shot at, I shot back at them. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Not oh. like. That's how we do it in America. You shoot at us, we'll shoot right back at you. <laughs> Hell Yeah. What's the craziest thing you saw over there? Is that a, is that a weird question to ask on episode like 376 yeah. of a podcast? Um, do you have PS3? <laughs> <laughs> or do you have PTSD? <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Where I was at was actually pretty calm when I was there. Uh, craziest thing I saw was there was a restaurant we used to go to eat at quite a bit. I bet. And, uh, <laughs> uh, it actually got blown up, and a lot of people died in there. So It got, oh, what? It, what? It got blown up? Yeah, blown was up. Was that when you used the toilet? <laughs> so but, stupid. <laughs> Even I think that, was, that one was stupid. <laughs> Is that one when you used the toilet? This horrible, low-hanging fruit jokes about a serious subject like an Iraqi restaurant. <laughs> what was the restaurant yeah. called? Uh, Abdullah Rest. <laughs> yeah, it sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, delicious. <laughs> Welcome Price. to Abdullah Rest, it's the last out. place you'll ever eat. <laughs> you, should, you, should see, you should see their Yelp. It was just like one star. I died here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Try the Alfredo. The jalapeno poppers, perhaps. <laughs> the, uh, Try the old sandwich. It literally has sand in it. Uh, Oh, because now sand's like a bad word nowadays. You're like, oh, that's the first half of another word that I shouldn't know exists. I'm not going to laugh, even though it's a country made of sand, because I think of the N-word because I live in Texas. That's what just happened there. I could tell what happened there, beat for beat. You guys got weird because of the word sand. You thought I was going to say it for some reason. I would never do that. I can't say that word on the air. We'll see you at the meet and greet after the show. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Guys. Did you ever sleep with like the enemy, like a woman for in, in Iraq? or Good question. F- force her to sleep with you? Heck yeah. You ever, no. you ever, you ever just unwrap her head and be like... You are just. Put it you ever have one of those moments where she's like doing pottery and you get behind her like in the movie <laughs> Ghost and just start fucking. <laughs> no? I wish. There's no one that looks like Demi Moore over there. I right. wish. Okay. Well, not with that attitude. I'm going to yeah. go watch that video after I get off. I don't know how we got on a ghost tangent <laughs> there. Uh, so no, no sexual relations over there. Is it hard to jerk off in the military? Great question. Yes. No. No? God, no. What do you think they do over there? I don't know. You keep asking me what I think. I don't but have to go, worry about that you shit. You go out. You go out. You get shot at a few times. You come back. You jerk off like nine times. Eat some cafeteria food and go to sleep. That's all you do. Once again, thank you for your service. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Well, Elias, you've been doing it two and a half years. I love the uh, I love the joke. I think I think it can be even tighter and yeah. funnier. Like when you said that she said the worst thing, uh, she didn't see anything. Like I'd I'd hit it. I'd be even more real because you you saw her, right? No, like, she wasn't naked. I was. She was right, 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 yeah. right, right. Oh yeah, but yeah. You saw her look at you. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's a part that I think should be in there. Like she said, she didn't see anything and. That sucks because I saw her look where she was looking. <laughs> okay. And she was supposed to see everything. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, if you have it all set up just right, yeah. tell the truth. Say it in different ways that make it even realer than sort of jokey. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. If you see something, if you see something, say something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because... Because it should be that you're more insulted that she didn't see your dick. Yeah. And also, then you can still do that other stuff. But it, then it's then you're implying that you basically have no dick, and people would yeah. love to hear sure. that. Yeah. And yeah, then she, it's like if you feel like you lost out on an opportunity to sh- to you know impress your mother-in-law. Yeah. Like, did you go out of your way to then like maybe be naked in front of her again just right. to be like, here's a real dick, you know, like. Yeah. Like, show up at her house and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I always, you know, get the mail book naked like this. Yeah, with a boner. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe you were trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She'll yeah. be back at the end of the month, so I will give it a shot. I'll That's try what I'm that. saying. Yeah. Try and take a very it's uh, funny if you felt steamy insecure. shower, let it hang a little more. Yeah, well, and, and another thing now you could talking. do is you could go to the one-stop shop for sexual wellness for men, for hims.com. Yeah. And uh, yeah. get... Get, you could get a consultation right over the right over the phone yes. with a yeah. medical professional. I'm not sure I can pay full price though. Is there like any kind of promo code? Well, there it's sure funny is. You should mention. Wow! That. Wow! You just got an extra minute. <laughs> wow! Of course there is. Way to stick to the script. <laughs> just take some photos of it, send it to a real doctor, and use the promo code. <laughs> right. It's the promo code Kill Tony. You can save uh, five dollars. You could. Yeah, for five dollars they get you started for an entire month. Yeah, for that's five right. Months. We'll get you started for just five bucks while supplies <laughs> last. Prescription products are subject to doctor approval and require an online consultation with a physician who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. See website for full details and safety information. This could cost hundreds if you went to a person at the doctor's office or pharmacy. Go to forhims.com slash kill. That's F O R H I M S dot com slash kill. For hims dot com slash kill. And it'll cost you like over ten dollars just for one of those cheap boner pills at a gas station and you don't even know what you're getting. Wow. Here you're getting the, a whole the bottle. The ad was over ten seconds ago, Brian. Uh, <laughs> oh, we're not doing an ad. Uh, yeah. That's called putting a little personal taste on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we're supposed to mention competitors like gas station pills, but uh, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, it's yeah, you snake know oil product. <laughs> yeah, we you, are. You know that big brand company, gas station pills. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly. They what always I'm sneak about. into our ad reads. How do they do that? They're sneaking. <laughs> do you take anything? Do you, is your, you still get hard as a rock? G dubs. <laughs> uh, Barber's gone. Oh. oh. Up, of course, talking about the late great Barbara Streisand. Um, <laughs> all right, Elias, you were so much fun. It was nice to meet you. We're going to yeah, keep this job, thing dude. moving right, along. Good job. Thank you. How about I end? Comedian, a veteran for the United States of America, Elias Ashley, everybody. <laughs> Damn, I thought only Bill Clinton could play the sax like that. Look at you. Uh, I'm coming for your ass, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put your hands together for your next comedian, Brendan Stoner. <laughs> Brendan Stoner. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here he is, everybody. Yep. It's Brendan Stoner. Hi. This is uh, the first time I've ever done this. What's that? Put the mic closer to my mouth. All right. <laughs> I, um, I've got a horrible staring problem coupled with a drinking problem, which doesn't go too well together. I've uh, gotten caught staring at, unfortunately, fat people at the bar, and I've gotten a lot of trouble for that. 
I, uh, I asked this guy his weight the other night, which, yeah, I wasn't right. I asked 300. He's about 215. It really didn't go over too well. Just like this. <laughs> Boy. I don't know how. Yeah, perfect. Thank God. There you go. Brandon Stoner. Wow. Really just coming in like a... With a very special swagger of just fear and, uh, <laughs> I mean, just absolute, perhaps, I mean, just a giant pussy this? way to go about your first time. Do you see this? The upfront disclaimer, the excuses throughout, the purposefully written punchline for if it went bad. They say save the best for a second, and I think they're right. Yeah. Yeah. You tried. You tried. You got up here. You tried. I gave it my best shot. You, you took direction very well right out of the gate. You know? Yeah. When you say you gave it your best shot, what are we talking about? How long did you prepare for this? Uh, probably 15 seconds before I got 15 up here. 15 seconds before you yeah. got up here. Yeah. So, I, didn't, I didn't think my name was going to get drawn, to be but honest. But why didn't you think your name was going to get drawn? Uh, hey, uh, How old are you? I just turned 21. 21. Look at you. Yeah. You fucking... You have to, you, someone's going to bitch slap you tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We need to turn you into a fucking man. You Believe seem it or like not, you, it's already you, happened. You, you, li you lived with your parents for a long time, and then what? You went to college? No. <laughs> yeah. You were so raised by your grandmother? No. My <laughs> no, so I Stop moved. laughing, Brendan. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm about to fucking fix I, you, dude. I, mo I moved You look out. like you steal sleeping bags from fat kids. Yeah. <laughs> I moved out recently and then had to go right back in because of a DUI. That's how I oh, see. At 21? At 21, yeah. God that's damn. a record. <laughs> that's normal for Texas, right? Yeah, like right? that's usually no, middle school not, shit. Like <laughs> not from Texas. Where are you from? <laughs> Oklahoma City. Oh, you're about uh, to get what? booed, dude. You're about wow. to get booed. That's some real people, hate. Oh my god, they they just killed a young innocent Indian woman in the back <laughs> because of you. They slit her throat because of you, Brendan. Okay, so let's I, talk I think I uh when I, I say this next thing I collectively speak for the people. Suck our dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Yet another very GW. very Bill Clinton maneuver by George W. Bush. <laughs> I think I rented Bill Clinton Maneuver once. <laughs> <laughs> so what is you drinking so heavily at 21? Let's talk about your life. What does your dad do? He's tougher than you or he's not um, in the picture? <laughs> What's the deal? Where's your real dad at, dude? My dad is back in Oklahoma City judging all of my decisions. What, what does he do for a living? Yeah, we share uh, that he, in common. He owns a company that sells wide format printing equipment. Printing equipment. So, yeah. what makes this guy so fucking special? Yeah. Is Good he rich? Good question. He, yeah, he, very he does, rich. He does well for himself. Oh, th th what does that mean, dude? He does well for himself. Like what? What fat? For what himself, fa he doesn't share What Willy share Wonka any of it chocolate factory were you built in exactly? <laughs> he does very well for himself. That's all I can say. I'm you gonna go get wasted now. Like I'm trying to figure out why. What you're drinking away? What is your situation here? Do you have uh, your heart broken? Do what? Did you have your heart broken by someone? No, I never have yet. Yeah? Did your mom ever put a finger in your butthole? <laughs> For medical purposes. I, I don't... Medical purposes? <laughs> oh, now that you mention it, yeah. Okay. But, what, but, but I'm trying to get something out of you here, Brendan. Yeah, you, you ever seen an interview before? No, this is my first one. It's your first time you've ever seen an interview right yeah. now? Right. God damn, dude. <laughs> What serious brain trauma? Was there a scooter accident when you were a child or something? You fall out of a hammock when you were 12? A, a, I think younger. I'm talking soft skull, like stroller accident? No. Someone, your mom, do you remember your mom once letting go of the stroller? Oh, no, Brendan! And Maybe you, some... you just see tree branches flying? <laughs> like, this probably isn't going to end well. Fetal Maybe. alcohol syndrome, maybe? Maybe a boardwalk rollerblade collision? Actually, that's a good question. Your mom a drinker? She sure is. Wow. Ah, there we go. Red there we man. Go. Very good. There we go. Mom's a drinker, but dad not that much. Uh, he, 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 he is. He is too. Oh. <laughs> you have brothers and sisters? I do. Older? I do have, Older? Uh, I've got all around the board. All around the board. You're the middle child? Yes, sir. Two what? and two on each side? About that, yes, sir. About uh, that? I've got stepbrothers, half siblings. Oh, oh I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're drinkers. They're yeah. drinkers. Okay. <laughs> you remember your first drink? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> President Bush. Yeah, my my first beer was a uh, a Bush Light. Uh, congratulations, Bush Light. <laughs> <laughs> so <stupid>. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I was wondering what you were gonna do with that. I'm like, here we go, Bush. Yeah. Just repeated it. <laughs> Say it again. It's a great company. Yeah. yeah. No joke. <laughs> All right. So you remember your first beer? You ever been with a woman before? Yes. Sir. Yeah. What have Believe you done? Her. What have you yeah. done with a woman? Uh, <laughs> I've done just about everything. Whoa. Hey, show us, I, show, I ate, show us on, show us on this Waldo boy what you've done before to a woman. Hilarious. Do we go? Is anyone get concerned how? He said, "Get on your knees and face that way." All right. I think he's gonna place them under arrest. Everybody. It appears as if though. Are you gonna show us what you did? A whole lot of ass eating? You have to show us, dude. I don't believe it until I see it. I can't All right. Wait, wait, wait. This guy wants it, dude. He's wait, wait, wait. I want to hear what was the... F whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Jerry. 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 Here Jerry. we are. Live in Plano, Texas. Step right up to kill Tony. Now... Watch another man eat another man's ass right behind this kid. All now, right, I understand. I understand it's very Wednesday of Plano to watch a public rape, but <laughs> I, but I do want to know some of the questions that you asked uh, said gal. Cause you said you asked a lot, yeah? No, no, no. I told him a lot of things. Oh, him. Him. You ate a lot. Oh, oh wait. All right, oh, we're oh. we're skipping stages of life. I thought we were talking about yeah. my friend here. Oh. No, we're talking about no, the gal. The gal? No, <laughs> spoken no, like I, a true. Asked... O spoken like a true Oklahoma City queer. <laughs> <laughs> George W. Bush knows how to fucking Doing campaign. Yeah. This uh, guy is. I, I asked permission. Behind. His you approval permission. ratings yeah. are higher than ever right now. Ninety <laughs> percent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're talking about uh, this this girl or guy. What are you into? You could be honest with us here. A little you bit of both. All right. Nice. There you go. Okay, very good. Yes, Bill Cosby has well, nothing to do with that. You know what they say? <laughs> Never a bisexual. You know they say it's better to have love and loss than to uh, visit a loss and found. <laughs> All right. Yep. So, yep. what? When? When did you realize you uh, you might be into guys a bit as well? Were you young? After I started watching this podcast. It was this podcast. Yes, sir. Whoa. What exactly do you mean by that? I can't tell whether hey. I can't tell whether that's 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 a weird or the funniest thing you've said accidentally. Hey, man. Hey, all the, your jokes you laughed at. That one you said with a serious face. <laughs> is when I started watching. I thought you would never ask. It's you, uh, Tony. Just, You're the reason I knew I was sort of gay. <laughs> <laughs> He's biting his bottom lip. <laughs> uh, so seriously, though, is that true? No, no that was not true. What, what is true out of everything I, that... <laughs> I, I like females. Okay, you like I females. don't know. I think this guy's into WMDs, white male dicks. <laughs> <laughs> George W., you are out of control yeah. over there tonight. I love a good presidential acronym. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what, what do you do for fun? I don't do a lot, of, a lot for fun. I, I like to play golf. Golf. I like to fish. Fish. Okay, so yeah. activities. Yeah. Oh my God. I like to eat ass, yeah. Is that true? <laughs> wait, wait, all right. In that order? In a different order. When's the last time you ate a girl's ass? Uh, two nights ago. Two nights ago. Who wow. was this girl? That's very uh, recent. That's my girlfriend. You have a girlfriend? Yes, sir. What does she do? Uh, she works as a medical scribe. A medical so scribe. So all she does is take notes for a doctor. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she's just waiting to punch out and get her ass eaten. Yeah. 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 Yep. You ever Good notice you. her ass tastes a little saltier when she gets home from working with the doctor? Yeah. What's up, yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> what's up with that? I think you found a new premise. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with them salty buttholes? <laughs> What's up with them salty playing on buttholes? You feel me? All right, that's my time. <laughs> so that's wild, man. Uh, your DUI, that was just from getting pulled over by the police? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They just randomly caught you? Were you swerving? No, no, I was swerving yeah. crazy did, off the road. Did you ever <laughs> see the video of your arrest? No, I didn't. Yeah, what, what, what was the part where you knew you were fucked immediately? 
Uh, yeah, it was pretty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There must have been, like, was there a moment? Did they give you the tests or anything like that? Yeah, they gave me the tests. Yeah, was there something you did that was horrible during the tests? Didn't hold my foot out. You didn't hold your foot well. out. I feel like you couldn't do that sober. Try that. I want to see you do it. The first I'm not time. sober right now, but I'll try it. <laughs> wow, you really do have a drinking problem. Also, also, you just have, you're, you're, very, you're built very strangely. Stop. Are you having a random conversation with these fuck? Who gives a fuck what he's saying? You recognize him from the cast to kill Tony, you fucking idiot? Goddamn Oklahoma Mr. Bean, just like, huh? Oh? It's fucking doofus. If you do, if you do stand you. up again, like, you're going to have hecklers and people talking, and you either have to, like, decide to go all in and just no. ruin the He's whole show and talk. He's never doing it again. He's never doing it again. I'm never letting you do it again. How many, people, how many people think Brendan Stoner should retire here tonight? That's the rare instant retirement, dude. I do, I do want to say, I feel like when you first... Shut up. When you first took the mic, when you first took the mic, uh, I definitely was engaged. Like, you had a pace and, like, you know, like, it felt like you had something to say. Like, you were taking your time. You didn't seem nervous. And I was kind of sitting on the edge of my seat, like, being like, all right, he's really, like, there's a, uh, you know, a, um, a, a rhythm to this. And then it just went uh, absolutely nowhere. Yeah. And then, uh, and then the, you know, and then we got from, cut off. Went from edge of our seats to the edge of a top of a building real quick. <laughs> It seemed like you almost planned your last line where you were like, and there it is. Like, there's my time. Like, it's almost right. like you didn't have a punchline. You knew your punchline was going to be, like let to, me call attention to, you, I if, ran if out. If you ever do it again, you just have to fucking try. You can't do yeah. any of that pussy bullshit. You lost my interest immediately. And you're like, well, this might not go good. This is my first time. Everybody, blah, blah, blah. It's like you're trying to take all this air out of it. And then you didn't have dog shit. And then, we came, and then we had to talk with you about your fucking drinking. You didn't give us a real root problem. You never said that your dad fucking, you once saw your dad you know, fist your mother's asshole and that's why you have to drink a lot and eat ass a lot because it's like this thing from when you were a child. Like I wanted to find out something real about you and we just found out all this surface shit about your medical scribe girlfriend, this dirty whore that just takes notes and get her ass eaten all the time. Just this sloppy human being. Think about that weird life of just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she gets home and just fucking, ah, just your face, just your never-ending, tireless, lipless face. You have no lips. You know that? Have you ever looked at your lips and been like, I don't have them? I never have. <laughs> Very rarely do I ever take note of the lack of a man's lips, but you got nothing there. It's like a blow-up doll or something like that. It's like an open hole. <laughs> yeah, how do, you, how do you eat a butt with no lips? Yeah. And I, know, and I know I've said that twice today, but for a third time, how do you do it? It is incredible. It's in, the butt must be like, hey, another butt's coming to eat me right now. <laughs> it just looks like another butthole because you don't have lips. But, but imagine butt. if you were back there and you said you didn't know that your name was going to get called or you were planning on it not being. But like, imagine if you had actually you know, prepped for that and actually been like, oh, I hope it gets called instead of I hope it doesn't. Yeah, no. I, if I sat down and wrote a minute, it would be fucking dog shit. Yeah, probably because <laughs> you've never done it before. Yeah. But yeah. you don't, you know, what's, if you've got no gauge for it, you can only go up from there. You have, yeah. you so have, fucking try. You, you have know? no confidence, too. Yeah. You know what you no need to confidence. do? You need to take a break from eating ass and start using your dick on things. All right? <laughs> you need to start swinging around that cock. All right? That is Use it to your advantage. Stop eating ass like a quadriplegic guy. All right? Like, oh, give me more ass. Like, you have the rest of your... Be a man. Do some goddamn sit-ups. You're shaped like a 21-year-old Homer Simpson. <laughs> fucking ridiculous. You're all pot belly. Get out of here. We're, we I, I spent like way body. too much time with you. Brendan Stoner. If it's your first time, by the way, we're gonna fucking... We're gonna find out about that in the interview part. Don't give some pussy-ass fucking disclaimer. That was some Milwaukee shit right there. Yeah. Yeah. By the way... I said it. That was some Milwaukee shit. That's my new... <laughs> bad word <laughs> when I don't like something I call it Milwaukee you're not from Milwaukee are you <laughs> no. no not at all <laughs> Seattle yeah baby I pulled another name out of the bucket put your fucking hands together for Kyle Owsley everybody <laughs> oh boy That's, that is a loud copyrighted song right there just guns a blazing one of the most famous songs out there one more time for Kyle everybody 
What's up? Uh, so I really like scary movies, um, but why are ha only haunted, haunted, why are only houses built on top of Indian burial grounds? Like, why not a Kmart or a Costco? <laughs> I mean, like, you walk through Walgreens, you see a Native American ghost just standing there, staring at vaccines and shit. <laughs> yeah. This shit really makes me nervous. Uh, <laughs> this shit really makes me nervous. Um, <laughs> I'm trying, Jesus Christ. Uh, this shit really makes me nervous here. Uh, like, I never know, I can't shut my fucking brain off, man. I started thinking about weird shit, like, everybody in here has probably done, like, doggy and shit before. Everybody look around. All right, y'all handle that shit now. <laughs> I have a problem with, uh, with porn. <laughs> <laughs> I have a problem with porn. You see a, a, a video titled uh, Ashley Tries Anal for the First Time. No, no I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you right there. You know, normally I can't stand it when there's people that are so stupid in the audience that, uh, that like can't even literally handle watching a comedy show without giving their opinion on things, but I'm going to compliment one. I don't know exactly which one it is, but there must be literally, I can't imagine, at least 80% retarded woman somewhere in that section over there. <laughs> that literally every joke is just, what? No. Keep going. Lady, you're not a part of this thing. And I, I, I like it when the tension builds in a room. We don't need you just fucking squeaking out little brain farts over there. Lady, no, 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 no. Shut up. Uh, dur during my presidency, uh, we instated an act called the No Child Left Behind Act, uh, but that lady is a retard. Leave her behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just got to stay quiet for the rest of the show. You could laugh or not laugh, but you can't say actual words. There you go. Starting now. Can I say something? No. <laughs> and then there's you. The third, second, or second person in a row to come up here and just be completely reactive to heckling. <laughs> yeah. No, I really hope I got uh, picked too. Your, everything is disproportionate about your body. You have a gigantic, massive forearms and a tiny head. Has anyone told you this? You have like a orangutan body. They have. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think I tried you. I think I tried to win you in a claw machine once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like. Here I am. <laughs> It's true, yeah. You look like a cross between an orangutan and my least favorite cast member of the Entourage. Which one? This is what What's Texas it? looks like. What? This is what Texas looks like. It's saying Oklahoma. Not all of Texas looks Shut like a. Fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. This is what Texas looks like. Hey! George W. Bush. Wow. That is incredible. <laughs> so, Kyle, let's talk about it. It's your yeah. first time doing stand-up comedy, right? Yeah. Okay, how old are you? Uh, 30. 30 years old. There's the goat of the first time. Congratulations to you. Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, construction. Yeah, what do you build? Stuff. Houses, shit. Forearms. Yeah, forearms. <laughs> wow. So you've been building houses since you were a kid? Yeah. You work yeah. for your dad's company? No. Your stepdad's company? Nope. Your friend's stepdad's company. It's like un uncle-in-law's company. So what? Uncle-in-law's <laughs> company. So. Come on. Who is that? That's Come pretty on good. Now. Yeah. That's pretty good. But to be fair, that's how I met her. So I mean, but that's how everybody gets their jobs in Texas. So it's, it's, uh, that's how. Got quiet in here because everybody's like, huh? Oh, what? That's right. I got to call my boss uncle-in-law here in a minute. Let him know I'm not coming in tomorrow. All right, so that's fun. So you build shit. What is other stuff about you that we would find interesting? You've seen how a lot of the other interviews have gone so far this episode. Help us. I actually tried to uh, stand up before one other time. Uh -huh. It actually went a lot better, but it was like in prison. So You were Whoa. in prison. Yeah. Very good. Heck yeah. You look like you got in trouble for molesting yourself as a kid. <laughs> what were you in prison for? A friend of mine actually stole from the DEA and brought it to my house. I helped him get rid wait, of wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. A friend stole what? Like a computer and a gun and shit from a DEA agent. What? Uh, a computer <laughs> and a gun. I like how yeah. gun is mentioned second in that. <laughs> a DEA agent's gun. 
What was on the computer? Was or was it just a it cool was like computer? A tough book. This is like in 2009. It was like one of those tough books. Uh huh. Yeah, brought it over. I freaked out. Did he know that? He, did he know it was a DEA agent? That he yeah, like whenever from? you open up the screen, it says DEA investigator. On it. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here! I swear to God, man, I got I got to make that the background on my laptop. Yeah. That'd be pretty. <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. Where was your uncle-in-law during all this? No, this is before all that. This is all right. You don't have to be a dick about it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. So, what, did you go to prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him I was like, man, if they come, you gotta, you gotta take the charge. Yep. And they came, and uh, he didn't take the charge. <laughs> so, wow. wow. Has he been walking so free? More or less, is snitch. Be sure to snitch. Wow. You see, you didn't uh, snitch. No, I didn't snitch, and I got prison. He didn't. How long were you in prison? Three years. Three years. Fuck. My goodness. For a computer? <laughs> well, and, and a gun. The DEA agent's gun. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly, most. My guess. I don't see is the problem with the gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> all right. You didn't so, think maybe I should, you know, snitch? <laughs> no, man. He, he seemed Three honest. Years. He said he was going to take the charge. Right. So, so then what happened? When you got uh, out, did you contact him? Like, hey, motherfucker, uh, what's up? Like re- retaliation. Already got more prison. So you don't really want to Oh, my God. He owes you like a Netflix password or something, you know? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh,. Wow. Has, what uh, happened in prison? Anything crazy, George W.? Uh, yeah. Has anybody ever told you you look like a stretched out Buzz Lightyear action figure? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time. Yeah, I love Toy Story. <laughs> it does. Crazy. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, one time a guy fell off a bunk. He was having a seizure. Uh-huh. And then like no one else would help him. They were just watching him. And I tried to help him. And the cops came in and thought like someone knocked him out. And they're like, who did this? I was like, fucking gravity? I don't know. Yeah. Like, he was all bleeding and yeah. shit. Yeah. They're like, gravity, what cell is he in? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where'd he go? Good old gravity Jenkins. Oh, no. <laughs> did, uh, how did you keep, how did you pass the time in prison? Three years is a, that's not a short duration. No. no yeah, that's uh, almost a full term. <laughs> Draw. <laughs> <laughs> that it is, George. That it Four. is. You Four. dumb fuck. <laughs> a lot of forearm workouts. A lot yeah, of forearm. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but yeah. what did you actually do to draw? Pass? Draw? Like draw, watch TV. What would you draw? I uh, paint. What do you draw? Like, <laughs> it's boring as shit. Uh, charcoal. Uh, charcoal drawings of people. Like people's families and oh, shit. I oh, I thought you meant you would draw yeah. charcoal, like for a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, Every wow. Of charcoal. And you would draw people mm-hmm. in yeah. the, with the charcoal? Right. And their faces? Right. Yeah. So it's it'd not be black, black? Like realism? So it'd be like blackface? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, so you've yeah, done blackface? Yeah. Prison. That's incredible. It's, it's not blackface if it's charcoal. My art teacher told me that. <laughs> All right. All right, Kyle. Well, I mean, anything else interesting that we should know about you other than the fact that you went to prison? No, What's your love really, life man. like now? now? Can you come if you don't drop the soap? It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really good at holding on to shit now. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Just a couple weeks. That was it. Uh-huh. Yeah. What does that mean? I was just joking. Uh, I don't get your jokes. <laughs> they, uh, I only really go off of truth during the interview part. It's still mind-boggling that not everybody gets this part yet. People are like, uh, because I live with my forearms, Tony. Uh... How, how do you like your women, Bush or no Bush? <laughs> hey, there it is. Definitely All right. Bush. Well, Kyle, congratulations on your first time ever doing stand-up. Uh, Good next job, time. Dude. You guys got to focus, man. This ain't fucking... This is goddamn eight-mile shit up here. You need to lose yourself in the moment. You, got, you better never let it go. Shut up. These people... People don't fucking listen. It's incredible. Wait, play that riff again, George. (laughs) I envision this being played as he drew charcoal blackface in prison. Very good, Mr. President. Thank you so much. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for what appears to be Jesse Jonas, everyone. Jessel? Jesse Jonas. Here we are. Nope, that's a person with drinks. Jessel Jones, Jesse Jones, Double J, Jonas, Giannis, Jonas, Jesse, or Jessel, or Gessel, Gonas. Is that you? Is that your name, Jessel Jonas? Is it Jessel Jonas, Jesse Jonas? Two J's? That's got to be you, right? 
Jessica Jonas. Yep, that they no, will. Jessica Jones. Oh, oh, yep, I could see how that could be Jessica Jones. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Come on, one more time for Jessica, everybody. All right, so I've never done this before. And my name is Jessica Jones, but I'm not a superhero. My only superpower is cleaning my house 10 minutes before someone's about to arrive. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That was kind of all I had. I was dragged here by my husband. It was beautiful. It reminded me of our wedding day. <laughs> uh, I really only came because he's a fangirl, and I was like, okay, fine, I'll sign up too. Oh, God. <laughs> I know. I feel like there's a lot more people here that should be roasted than me. <laughs> Yes, let's bring him up, please. Nope, 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 nope. I mean, just unbelievable. Uh, have you ever seen this show before? Have you ever seen this show before? What? Unwillingly. <laughs> Unwillingly, right. No, it's fine. Guys, guys, okay. God damn it. Go ahead, Mr. President. Sure. Can I just say I've seen a lot of bad things in my time? And that was the worst. All right. Yeah. And indeed. and nine okay. eleven was under my watch. <laughs> it was. It's incredible. Wow. Unwillingly. So did he, he signed up, and you're like, I'll sign up too because I'm a moron, right? Because you're just like, ah, oh, he write his name on paper. I should have known when literally I, you can't even write your own goddamn name correctly. Your handwriting is. Could I, could You're I adorable, though. I'll tell you this. You're a sweet little thing. I don't think you had any idea what you were signing up for. I, don't, I do not want to break your soul here. No, break I will it. not do What that. an animal. No. no. I, I, Wal Waldo's trying to get a break it, Chan. You this piece of shit. Pure evil. Don't you got a birthday party to be hiding out at? I, she said she didn't have any real superpowers, but clearly her superpowers is really cold nipples. <laughs> <laughs> it is. She's wearing a, a bikini as a bra. Leave her alone. You're a sweet little thing, Jessica. We're not going to we're not going to roast you or your uh, Jericho, Joe Bass. <laughs> <laughs> it's really incredible. Uh, Wait, Jer so. Jericho, you got a future. <laughs> your future's bright. What do you do for a living, uh, Jessica? Yeah, Jericho, what, what do you, do you do? Oh, wow, thank you, Mr. President. A little bit less on that mic, pal. Let's just fucking take a breath for a hot... Inhale with that nose ears, okay? Just take a breath. Let's talk to Jessica for a second. All right. Just no, for a second, Yeah, Mr. not President. a problem. You got it, pal. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely, amigo. I've got your back at all times. Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. Texas in the house. <laughs> Very good. You still got it. Very good. Very good. Wow. I love, it. I love it when my friends pile on while I'm already in a fucking shit storm just to <laughs> pander and say Texas again. Very good, Mr. President. So now, what, Jessica, were you, what were you Jessica. saying, Jericho? What was All that? right, <laughs> yes. We get it, Jeremiah. You're such a rebel. Uh, so, Jessica, stick with me here for a fucking second. When I ask you a question, I need you to answer it into the tip of the microphone because this is what you signed up for with your big fucking brain, okay? Got it. You signed up for this. So right maybe here. when you do things from now on, you're like, maybe I should sign up for this fucking, you know, this, uh, this fucking bungee jumping or whatever the fuck it might be. You really think about what the fuck it is that you're signing up for. Okay. No. So what do you do for work? Uh, I am a manager at a retail store and I'm a mom. Okay. Yeah, you're, I, I'm re-reminded why I'm not going to steal your soul. I'm going to let you go. There she goes. Jessica Jones, everybody. There she goes. So annoying. Yes, Mr. President, go. Can I just say you're coming off like a real Dick Cheney right now? <laughs> yeah, you're damn right I am. Yeah. And just like, just like your presidency, I'm the one actually running this shit. So at the end of the day, you get to sit there and play silly little figurehead because that's the position that I put you in just like Dick fucking Cheney. <laughs> Who's wow. a little bitch now, Texas boy? And I wow. love this country too. Dick Cheney's from Texas, too. Piece that, of shit. That he's definitely not. All right. 
Hold another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Thomas Siska, everyone. Let's see what happens here. Guys, I live in Austin, Texas, but I'm not originally from Austin. I learned very quickly that the city has its own look and vibe. A lot of guys have that same look, you know, same hairstyle, same frames, and same flannel shirt. Same undeniable look that says, I want to watch you fuck my wife. <laughs> this guy knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I just watched the R. Kelly documentary, come to find out how much I have in common with R. Kelly when it comes to rules for our girlfriend. Call me daddy? That's a rule? No, that's a given. Just the other day, my girlfriend came whipping around the corner on her, in her vehicle, and I'm like, yo, watch how you're driving. She's like, you're going to tell me how to drive now, too? I'm like, yeah, that's right. You better be careful. You're lucky. You're lucky I don't give you more rules, because I'm a cool dad. Um, I don't think we should deplatform R. Kelly, because I feel like it's erasing history. Uh, pretty soon, we're not going to have any baby-making music left. We're just going to be all listening to Kenny G, jerking off into test tubes, and that's how it's going to get done in the future, folks. Fuck yeah, Thomas Siska. I loved Thank it. You. I'll tell you why I loved it. All right? You came out like a gentleman. You did your goddamn jokes right down the fucking barrel. You didn't let anything throw you off track. You just stood up there, and you sucked the old-fashioned way. <laughs> Thank you. You did it by trying and failing, not it, trying and bailing. It, it, yeah. felt, it felt honorable. Better to fail than to bail. Yeah, I, like I just that. wrote that right there. I like that. That's a good policy for this show. Yeah, you committed. Yeah. And you gave us like some true perspectives. Like you really think the future is headed towards, what would you say again at the end? Uh, we're not going to have any baby making music left. Uh, R. Kelly's going to get erased off of Spotify and all the you know, different streaming services. I don't services. get it I like the way you first either. So then we're going to yeah. be left... Just listen to Kenny G. Yeah. All right. No one's going to get laid. Sure. I think it went over better the first time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it got nothing the first time. There you go. Uh, so, uh, Thomas, tell us about you. Tell us a bunch of interesting fucking shit right from the honest part of your fucking heart right now. Go ahead. All right. I live in Austin, Texas. We know I that part already. came up here today. Um, uh -huh. I play bass guitar. Okay. I play guitar, uh -huh. skateboard, do yeah. artwork. Yeah. What do you do for a living? I work at a Mexican restaurant in Austin. What do you do at the Mexican restaurant in Austin? I serve tables. Really? Yes. Huh. Is that how they do that? It's like a reverse thing? Yes. They get white people to work in their restaurants, we get Mexicans to work in ours? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Do you spend uh, your money that you make every night drinking with all the other waiters and bartenders of your restaurant, like every other waiter in the whole entire world? Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I just started there, so I've been dead broke, so all my coworkers have been kind of Why are you drinks. so dead broke? Where's all your money going? I went to Vegas a month ago for the first time ever in my life oh. and uh, had a little too much fun. How much did money did you lose in Vegas? Just tell the just, truth. Just a couple hundred. Just a couple hundred, but that's yeah. all that you had to your name. Pretty much, exactly. What did you lose it on? Blackjack? Blackjack. $5 tables? Uh, $10. Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> That's a way to go from 200 to zero in 20 <laughs> fucking minutes. That's incredible. Wow. So you just lost all your money, and then what? Well, I you know, went to a sh comedy show out there, went and saw David Tell and Jeffrey Ross oh, with my girlfriend mics. and yeah. her mother. So it was an interesting dynamic. Heck yeah. Um, did the mother see you naked at one point? I was worried about that. I think um, you should write a joke about it. <laughs> uh, so, wow, the mom was there. Are you guys all from Austin, Texas? Uh, well, my girlfriend's originally from Houston. That's where her mom lives, but we both live in Austin, me and my girlfriend. And then what? The mom met you in Vegas? Yes. We got there a little before her, uh -huh. uh, hit up the dispensary before she got there. And, uh, oh, yeah. You know, yeah. did it right. Yeah. And did, does the mom know you guys smoke pot? I think she had a good idea of... How long, you saw how, red her eyes how long have were? you been with this girl? About four years. Four years. Yeah. Interesting. What does she do? She currently is driving for Uber. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Does she know you dress like a camp counselor? Yes. <laughs> she, she, uh, she, she's my counselor. Yeah. I like it. Wait, you said you play two instruments. So are you trying to or are in a band currently? I am not for... currently in a band, but I, I kind of dabble, just kind of record things and yeah. experiment. With the um, idea of maybe one day finding a, a group to join, yeah? 
I play with a couple of people, but I just don't have a uh, consistent drummer, basically. What Seems would be, be something issue, that we'd but... be surprised to know about you? I asked you the things that you like to do, and you started rattling okay. off from what you thought was the coolest thing to the <laughs> least cool thing. You said um, bass guitar, regular guitar, skateboard. I, he started listing I, all the things I, that happened at the camp that I he currently, I currently am in a contest on Infowars.com, and I may p- possibly win $5,000. I'm in the yeah. final there six you, people. There you go. Very okay. exciting. That's great. There Hopefully they may, they'll announce the winner either tomorrow or the next day. What's so. the contest? Like, what is it? So a- it, was a, uh, free po- it was a free speech poster challenge where you could actually create your own poster if you wanted to and post it somewhere publicly, and it had to have the Infowars logo on it. Um, everybody else that entered the contest <laughs> did not create their own poster. I created my own, and it was a polar bear warming his hands over the campfire, and he's like this adorable polar bear cub winking, uh-huh. and it says, Al Gore lied, I'm freezing my ass off. And it's like very... Now this guy's got very, some good stuff. It's very yeah. illustrated. Um, so I went to a place in Austin and filmed this, and it was a, called Tyson's Tacos. I don't know if anyone's ever been there, but you can actually play a song and get a free taco. There's no limit to how many tacos you can get. The only limit is how many songs you play. And they had a ukulele there. What so the fuck are you talking about? I'm telling you, the most, the most <laughs> interesting thing i got going on right now. So do you really believe that? Do you think global warming is fake? I believe that Al Gore lied that the polar bears aren't dying from the ice caps melting. Thank that, you. And that Thank his, you. And, there, and there's no facts to back Al Gore up on that. Really? So, yeah. Is that true? So you, polar bear numbers are way up. Um, so you're saying that you do believe they're it? They're all right. They're freezing. Oh, actually. Polar bear numbers are way up. Hold on. Hold on. Are you running for office? Yes. <laughs> so you're saying that you do agree with... Uh, the fact that global warming exists, yeah. but you don't agree with the polar bear numbers exactly. Just that. I believe. I believe in climate change is not global warming. I think we're probably headed to an ice age, a mini ice age. And I don't think. Hopefully, that movie I fucking don't rules. Think that, uh, <laughs> I think All we right. probably should be burning more fossil fuels to prevent the ice age from coming. Uh, wow. All right. uh, do you think uh, the Earth is flat? No. Fuck no. Do you have any other wacky conspiracy theories that we'd want to know about? Um, I think in. Are you the reason why there is an Amber Alert going on? Yeah, is it? What the right fuck? Now? Is there an I feel Amber like Alert? This is somebody's that way is of getting question. out of trouble. <laughs> I think somebody finally um, found Waldo. Yeah. Wait, how is an Amber Alert going off if Red Band is here? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's why we have a curtain on the table, my friend. By the way, I'm drinking Ozarka water made in Texas. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. No, getting back to what you asked me, though, I think. One of the most wild conspiracy theories that I uh, believe in is that in, in Antarctica, there's actually pyramids under the ice. And yeah, that, that's probably true. Um, the, the caps had moved at one point, and there was an ancient civilization there that has technology underneath the ice. A lot of our governments know about it. Right. And actually, um, there is places okay. uh, you can go in <laughs> okay. under gonna, the I'm ice. Gonna, I'm going to like stop 72 you there, Thomas. degrees. It's okay. I'm going to stop you there. Leave something for the YouTube. Are you teaching this course at Camp Who Gives a Fuck? Yes. <laughs> All right, Thomas. I'm going to keep it moving along. Go. There he goes. Thomas yeah. Siska. Good everybody. job, dude. It's another first timer. I wish that you would step do you back believe from that ledge, my friend. Do you believe in any uh, conspiracies? Like, is there anything that you're like, no, I believe in that for sure, that normal people don't? I mean, I don't know. Like I guess it depends. I mean, no, I definitely don't think JFK was shot by one guy in a goddamn book depository reloading a gun, just shooting off chunks of the president's head from There's 600 yards away. De- there was definitely another person in the front and uh, to the right shooting so that is back you, into the Do lab. you, Adam, do you believe any uh, conspiracy? Yeah, I think uh, Michelle Tanner on Full House was played by one person. Yeah, hey, I like Not that. Not two. Not two. That's bullshit. She's a clone. Pulled another name out of the bucket. Let's see what happens here. Make some noise for John Brown, everyone. John Brown. Ha ha. John Brown. Here we go. Live on Kill Tony. Here he is. Hey, so uh, I was texting my mom the other day. I had to go to the hospital in her minivan, right? When I left the hospital, I got into a car accident. And I uh, called her, she didn't answer the phone. So I was like, well, I'll just text her instead. So I texted her, and I said, hey, uh, I just want to let you know, I just left the hospital, I got into a fender bender. But no shit, my phone autocorrected it to gender bender? 
So she got just left the hospital, got into a gender bender. Please don't be mad at me. She didn't text back for a long time. She finally texted me back. She's like, I just want you to know I support you either way. I was like, Mom, what are you talking about? I have insurance. And she goes, do they cover that? I was like, yeah, I guess so. It probably depends on how much body work needs to be done. <laughs> wow, look at that. She goes, wow. She goes, are you sure? I was like, Mom, I think I've been rear-ended enough times to know how this shit works. Wow. Holy shit. I did not see that coming. That was fucking amazing. As soon as I readjusted my expectations to Plano levels, all of a sudden, a comedian comes out of the woodwork here. I did not see that coming. Wow. I did not see that coming, did you? No. No, I you look like a guy that goes to Little League games and yells in the stands drunk at the kids <laughs> for not hustling enough. He literally looks like Randy. He looks like the guy that owns this place. <laughs> you really do. Randy, where's Randy where's at? Is Randy? Randy here? Can we cut to Randy? Yeah, can we, can we get a quick cut scene to Randy on uh, camera He's two? He's going to come out here. Get Randy out here. I'm going to do a side-by-side uh, -side with this fucking guy. Not sure, my dear sure Randy. Not the, do you know Randy? Here he is. Here he comes. Randy, here come comes. up here real quick. Give it up for the owner of Hyenas, Randy! Yes, everybody. It's Randy, his brother. This is a fucking... Look at these two. Father and son. Randy, this guy's great. Did you see him? Heck yeah. You guys know each other? Yeah. Wow. How long uh, have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about five years. Oh, fucking awesome, man. It really shows. Yeah. Thank good you. God. It's Thank a good you, joke. Jesus. Cool. Good delivery. It's fucking great. I love it, man. So five years, all of it here in Dallas? Uh, most of it. I went to Denver for about eight months. I lived in my van there. Boo! My... <laughs> That's <laughs> another place! Boo! So I came back. That's where I went, met Will Montgomery. Oh, uh, I was in it. Denver, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. What did you and uh, William do? Uh, he did a lot of acid. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I remember we were at an open mic one time, and he walks by, and he, like, sticks his tongue out, and there was uh, some acid on it, and then I started looking at my watch, and, like, 30 minutes went by, and I was like, oh, shit, and then he went on stage, and, like, it's like it hit him while he was on stage. He was yeah. just looking around and shit all funny. He's great. He's amazing. He is a really cool guy. Did you guys hang out afterwards or anything? We did. We, I drove him home a few times, and you know what? He talks about Jesus sometimes. I don't know if he's serious. No. Like, <laughs> oh, no. He did the same shit to me right? on Easter. Me and me and my girl, he's like, Are you, you have to go to church. And I'm yeah. like, he's fucking with us. Yeah. He but plays that Thursday. weird fucking country song all the time. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Yeah. He, he, that's all he does is fucks with people. It's yes. amazing. It's my favorite thing. How about you? So how do you make money? Uh, well, I do this, and I also work in maintenance uh, for my dad's construction company. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I work for a hotel. I work in maintenance. Yeah? Is it a fun hotel? Uh, yeah, no one gives a shit. Uh, like, cars get broken into every night. I got robbed, you know, so they're not even looking at me. It's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> like, Fuck. My job's really easy. Anyone ever wreck one of the hotel rooms? Uh, yeah, but it was an employee. <laughs> was like, an employee did it? Yeah. My goodness, you laughed so hard about that. Well, yeah, it's a long. It's like it's funny to me, but they won't care. So yeah, what did they do? They just went rock and roll style one night. Uh, no, it's like uh, somebody's stuff just got locked in there, and instead of like calling somebody to unlock it the right way, they just busted into it and like Damn. broke the door, all the shit. Must yeah. been drugs and Fuck, shit. Yeah, no, probably inside. Interesting. Probably. What do you do for fun when you're not doing stand up or maintenance? Uh, well, I do just a lot of stand-up. I don't really do a whole lot else, to be honest. There must um, be something. Watch TV you look like shit. you shoot a bow and arrow. You shoot a Hoyt. I have done that and you just keep hammering? recently. Like three weeks ago. Really? My buddy, my buddy taught me how to shoot a bow. Yeah. The fuck what out the of here. Fun? Three weeks ago. Yeah. Look at that. I, I don't know. I don't really shoot a lot of weapons. Um, Is that fresh air? I don't know. I, like, I, I did this course for like a thousand yards. Like, I don't know. It's fucking boring. But oh, yeah. I was like the, the guy they made fun of because I was in the Air Force and shit. Hey, yo. Air yeah, Force? you were in the Air Force. Don't forget. You, you were in the Air Force. I was Force a fighter too? pilot. Yeah. I'm aware. Sorry, I just got lost in my own thoughts. Hey. <laughs> that makes two of us. Uh, so, um, what were you in the Air Force? I was a crew chief on the B-52. Uh, I was uh, a fighter pilot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
27 conventional weapons. What does a crew chief do on a B-52? They do, like, the, the most of the basic maintenance. Uh, you know, there's a the guy that, like, waves the plane in, and, uh-huh. like, you park the jet, and then if, the, if something actually gets wrong with it, you just call someone else to fix do it. Do people that work with on B-52s ever listen to the B-52s? Say again. What? I didn't hear well, that. the Love Shack baby. <laughs> Ruth. Yes, yes. That's a great question. I, that one, yeah. Well, uh, the Love Shack. That's actually like that. how I found out that was the B-52s that sang that song. Uh, Wait, what? That's how I found out about that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Again, I don't know what anybody's saying here. Tonight. Me neither. He said that's how he found out about it because he was a B-52. He probably YouTube B-52 and then found out. It was indeed a band. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, wow. Sometimes I got to translate for my pilot friends. <laughs> yeah. Any, uh, anything else fun and interesting that we should know about you, John? Anything crazy about your life or the way you were raised or anything um, like that? No, I grew up, like, in the country in, like, South Carolina, like, like next to a hog farm and that kind of shit. Yeah. So. What are we talking about, like, Louisville? Uh, more like uh, Crumb. More like Crumb. Talking about fucking... <laughs> Harry Hines. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot different kind of Harry Hines, you know. You look like you used to sell cigarettes to dads at bar mitzvahs. <laughs> <laughs> like you looked like, like a seasoned soul. You know what I'm saying? Like you've seen some shit. What was the dream as a kid? Uh, this is actually what I wanted to do. Stand up. As yeah. a kid? Mm-hmm. As really? a kid, yeah. Like, wow. Wow. Well, look at you now. You just killed here tonight. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, Doing it. You Living it. There Thank he you. goes. He's on social media at Ha Ha John Brown. Yes, sir, I am. Ha Ha John Brown. John Brown. From that ledge, my friend, my friend. Step back from that ledge. All right. I pulled another name out of the bucket. It's a one-word name, four letters long. Let's make some noise all together for Colt, everybody. Whoa! So you may, you may recognize me from the uh, comment section of Facebook. <laughs> a little bit about me. I, uh, I love my girlfriend. She's uh, half the reason I wake up in the morning. The other half is I don't like to shit in the bed. So <laughs> get up. Judge <All right. laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, what does a stoner frog say? Rip it. (laughs) You know, some people make fun of me because I didn't go to college. I make fun of them because they think Bernie Sanders is going to get rid of their debt. (laughs) And my dad, thinking Joe Biden is going to cure his cancer. Oh, my God. Yikes. (laughs) So wait a second. (laughs) Your dad has cancer? He's in remission. He's in remission. It's fine. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Hey, what a weird way to bring that up. Yes. <laughs> is, that tr- is that true? Your dad really has cancer and it's in remission right now? Y- yes, sir. And he's more, awesome. he's more liberal than you? No, that was a joke. Oh, that's a joke. You're very liberal. Uh, absolutely. Right. Just, just kidding. Right. Yeah. Just kidding or absolutely? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I gotta I'm know sinner. The tr- I don't right know what that middle. means. Okay, still, just take a breath here for a second. Really nervous. Remember, this part's just honesty. You, you had a great first 40 seconds of your 60 seconds. Crowd went berserk. You yeah. owned it. You ran out of jokes 40 seconds in right before your fucking frog <laughs> joke, and we're all like, oh, he's not perfect. <laughs> you ever see a clown at a birthday party in his balloons? He just forgets where he put them, yeah. and he's like, uh, how about some animal puns? And you're like, oh, fuck. Uh, Bring the cake it. out. I forgot. I forgot my last. How old are you? Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three years old. Here, come stand between oh, yes. the president and Adam Race, so that this audience can get a good look at you. Take another half a step back. Yes, there listen to my vice president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. That's me. Uh, so, how old are you? Twenty-three. Twenty-three years old. Is your first time doing stand-up. Yeah. And. What is your story? What makes you different? You seem like a hip dude, but you're wearing a Make America Great Again hat, but with great with the letter or the number eight in the yeah. word great. They, they charged me per letter when I was embroidering it. So, <laughs> What did I tell you about doing jokes during this part of the show? Uh, yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I love this guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, you, you can do jokes, Mr. President. I'm just trying to get uh, answers out of him. I like your jokes, Mr. President. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so uh, tell us about you. You're 23. You didn't go to college or you dropped out? No, I just didn't go. I ha I'm a martial art instructor, so I have a career path. Really? A martial percent. arts instructor? You seem like you'd be the bully victim, not the fucking, <laughs> not the bully trainer. <laughs> That's exciting. Can we see a little example of some martial Great arts? Call. Can you air out some? Um, maybe, maybe defend. Maybe the president could d do some moves on you, and you could defend yourself. Hey, I like that. You guys gonna do some martial? Wow! Wait a second. He's got a full split going on. Wow! He's just getting loosened up. You can do whatever you want, buddy. Just don't hurt anyone. Oh! Get the fuck out! <laughs> Hey, wait, wait. wait. Jer wow. Jeremiah. Maybe, maybe, maybe Jer don't. Jeremiah, maybe you got to do the bottle, bottle challenge. USA. Yeah, that was amazing. Do, can you do the, no. like, hold up your uh, water bottle and let him back kick the bottle challenge Are right here? Are you serious? Here? You think you can do that? No way. How high do you want him to hold it? Let him adjust it. Whoa. Are you sure? Whoa! Come on, give America another chance. <laughs> the place goes crazy. He did it. Colt's a goddamn American hero. USA, USA. USA! USA! Wow. Colt, you're a fucking instant legend. Yo, that was awesome. Two tries. That was wow. fucking incredible. My God. My, my dad told me uh, to quote, he said, you're not funny, don't do that. Wow. <laughs> so I'm really That's glad why I your dad up. has cancer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got bad karma. He's putting out bad vibes. Oh my god, that was so funny. Incredible. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> my goodness. And this is your girlfriend here, this beautiful girl who's very impressed at your martial arts. I mean, your high kick was yeah. incredible. It looked like you like <laughs> removed your thigh from your body and threw just it over held your it above shoulder. your head. <laughs> Normally, I would I would challenge uh, George to Our friend Jeremiah is known for his high kicks, but I don't know if he even wants to go Wait, up against. Can we high that. kick. Yeah. Mr. President, high kick are up, you baby. sure? It's gonna high kick off. Please be careful. Whoa! Yeah. Heck yeah. Just like his Congress, they were also split. George W. Bush g gave a little split. Whoa! Wow. Whoa! Whoa! Same time? What are they gonna do? He's gonna kick him in the face. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. What is happening? Oh my god. Don't move, Jeremiah. <laughs> what is happening? Wow. My mind is completely blown. Dude, that was fucking incredible. Dude. This is unbelievable. I mean. A kid wearing all American gear and former President George W. Bush are bonding like we've never seen in perhaps the history of this show. All I can say is Kenichi Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, we've come a long way tonight. Yes, Just we have. Just 15 minutes ago, we listened to a guy with no lips talk about eating buttholes. <laughs> yeah. And now this. this you have to be incredible. patient. That's a good lesson. This is incredible. That was amazing. You stopped just short of his face, dude. That was my incredible. Goodness. Can I just say uh, my nose retracted two inches? <laughs> 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 it's the most scared my face has ever been. My goodness, oh my indeed. Wow, Colt, this is so exciting. I mean, you are an instant legend on this show. Is there anything else we should know about you or we need to know other than the fact that you're a goddamn American ninja warrior? 
I actually know one of the guys on there. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Who the fuck are you, Shout out dude? to my brother. That's your brother? Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, my him. God. Is that that's your real brother? He's supportive. I love him. Oh, my God. I, can you kick him in the face from where you are right now? <laughs> no, go ahead. Uh, tell us m- what more about you, Colt. Um... Is there something about a yo-yo that I should I'm ask prof- about? I'm a professional yo-yoer. Get the fuck out of here. Do you have a yo-yo on you? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. This fucking... This kid's out of control. Oh, my God. It, his hot girlfriend just handed him a yo-yo. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He's asking for a rap beat. This is very exciting. Red man typed in rap beat. Sad rap ba- beat is what, what is came happening? up. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Can you yo-yo and do ninja shit at the same time? Wow! This is incredible. There's a lot of yo-yoing going on. Jesus Christ! Oh my god! This is incredible. This kid's doing all tricks. He's unstoppable. Wow. Hey, throw throw in one more little kick for us there at the end. You got a kick? I would formally <laughs> not. <laughs> I'd like to make a special announcement right now. Uh, I am uh, running as his vice president wow. for the 2020 election. 2020 right here. Colt Bush 2020, man. You heard Holy it right shit. there. My goodness, Colt. That is so exciting, dude. You got to, uh, yeah, go ahead. How do you pick that skill up? Like, what, are you sitting around one day being like, I wonder if I can yo-yo. Homeschooled. Homeschool? Ah. Oh, that's a fun the fact one, to the, dive deeper the one on. one thing your dad got right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't yo-yo at school, right? Yeah, yeah right, yeah, no. At home you can. What brand was that? Just curious. What brand? <laughs> what brand yo-yo? You a oh, big yeah. yo-yo Shout fan? Out. Shout out to uh, Alternate Return Tops, ART, Jensen Kimmett, Charles Haycock. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, all right. You, ah, you could have just said that you could have just said that in your head. Um, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm more of a Yo Mega guy myself, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, <laughs> nice. Have you ever pulled that trick out, uh, you know, and, tur- and turned like the party around or like people have really flipped out? Yeah, people yeah. Freak out. where? Uh, I was in England at the World Championships, the after after party. At the Yo Yo World Championships? No, no, martial, art. I was martial in arts. Taekwondo, yeah. Really? Yeah, the TAGB World Championship in uh, 20, uh, uh, <laughs> 2016. Wait a sec. How do martial arts people view the Yo Yo World? Well, and I know that sounds like a dumb question, but George? Yo Yo's are actually an ancient Chinese weapon. <laughs> is that I, true? That is true. I went to Yale and Harvard. <laughs> Got it. Unbelievable. All right, Colt. Well, I think we're going to try to squeeze one more person out yeah. of this show, so uh, we're going to send him on his You're way. amazing. If you're ever in L.A., let us An know. An American hero. There he goes. Colt, everybody. Good job, dude. Oh, yeah. Wow. There you go. Can we bring Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, can just, you can just come to Fort Worth and sign up again tomorrow. Yeah, try sorry. to write a new minute between now and then, though. You hear me? None of that fucking f- gay frog jokes. Yeah, dude. Rip it. You could you could do better than that. All the all the and, and add add your fucking martial arts into your thing. Like you ever you ever you ever you ever want to kick something so bad you're ever just like hiya. <laughs> or if you're gonna do the the uh, the stoner you know uh, amphibian route, just do all that. You know. Yeah. One time I blew a point uh, nine zero in a library. Uh, library. It was a it was a Dewey Decimal System. All right. Oh boy. Dewey D U E. Nope. Dewey. Not even close. All right. You tried. You guys think we should go to this bucket one more time? Yeah, I baby. pulled the name out. I pulled the name out. It's the last one though. All right, it's going to be hard to top Colt. No, we had one. Hard to top Colt, but let's see what happens here. Put your hands together for Cody Swindell. Cody Swindell. Cody of the nature of Swindell. I don't see movement. Is that Cody? 
Here he is, Cody Swindell, everyone. Come on, he's your final comedian yeah. of the night. Make some Last noise. Last one, baby. Hey, uh, growing up, I always heard, uh, are you going to jump off a bridge just because everybody else is doing it? And uh, I always said no. But uh, if so everybody else is jumping off a bridge, then yeah, I would definitely be jumping off a bridge. I mean, should I trust some shitty bridge or the opinion of everybody? I mean, I know what they were saying. Don't be a follower, stuff like that. It's a good message. But uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, <laughs> I was, uh, <laughs> they're saying don't be a follower. But I still do way too many things just because everybody else is doing it, like hanging out at crowded bars that I don't like. Uh, I'll be standing around with my own drink and uh, just trying to keep to myself. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I'm standing there, minding my own business. And I kind of started shaking a little bit. Didn't know what was going on. I noticed my drink rattling. So I turn around and tell my buddies about the earthquake that I'm experiencing for the first time in my life. And uh, it turns out the dude behind me has a lady shaking her ass and that tremor was her ass through his ass on my ass. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, there you go. Cody Swindell. Very interesting. Heck yeah. Welcome, welcome, Cody. How's it going, Tony? I like your style, man. First time doing stand-up? Yes, sir, it is. Heck yeah. Congratulations. This is first time, everybody. Good job, dude. This is where we find out during the interview part, like a gentleman. Uh, there's something very Forrest Gump about you. You born and raised, you born and raised here in Texas? Yes, sir. East Dallas. Heck yeah. Yes, and uh, you were like raised on a farm or something like that? No, I had cows behind my house, but you they mean, weren't our you, cows. You mean bison, right? No, no, no. No? All right. Uh, how many cows did you have? Uh, there were just a few back there, just a little pasture. But there was a gas station on the other side, so it was a good mix of country and ghetto kind of. You know, I like that. I like that little country yeah. ghetto. <laughs> Is it near Oak Cliff? Uh, anyway, no, uh, so, <laughs> heck yeah, you got all done up before this show. It's very exciting. You clearly went to these shops at Legacy. <laughs> this is where I just dump all the unused Plano references that I learned before the show. I just dump them on your heads. I can't take them with me. It's incredible. Heck yeah, what do you do? Work at the new Toyota plant? <laughs> What? <laughs> what, Plano? <laughs> You're here all weekend. You got. You better take notes. I know. <laughs> You're like, goddamn. Tony does his research. <laughs> Harry Hines. Yeah. I say Louisville already. All right. Good no, but seriously, you're from like the Garland area. Yeah, just south of Garland. Whoa! Hell yeah! Look wow. at that. Nailed it. Circle gets a square. <laughs> hey, I love it. The Next cow the goes oink. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you do for work, Cody? Uh, I just started a job as an elevator mechanic, working on elevators and stuff. An elevator mechanic. Hell yeah, I love it. That uh, job. Important job. It has its ups and downs. Oh, God. Wow. It does, it does. You're right, How, how does. dangerous are elevators? Because like, sometimes you get in like a hotel and you're like, this elevator seems really sketchy. Heck yeah. Is it really that like, like scary if we knew the It is the if you're in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What if Tony <laughs> Here we go. was pregnant uh, holding oh a baby? God. Okay. Brian. Would it be dangerous like in a, like a shitty hotel? Like, 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 like when it's sketchy, when it feels sketchy, should we be worried at all? <laughs> if it's a sketchy hotel, usually it's pretty stable. But I guess if an elevator falls, most people think it's going to fall down. Right. The ones with the ropes, if it falls, it's going to go they up. They go up. Yeah, they and, then, and then you hit the ceiling. Yeah. So you have to Cowboys. jump at just the right time, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Right. President, have you ever fallen up? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Mike it's my good. entire career, <laughs> falling up. <laughs> I love it. How old are you, Cody? Uh, I'm 27 today, but I'll be 28 tomorrow. Really? Tomorrow's your birthday? That's the name of your memoir, by the way. 27 today, 28 tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I you have tonight to die as a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You that is incredible. So what do you do? What type of outdoorsy shit? You, you eat your own fish? You catch your fish and eat it? Skin it? So shit like I'm that? You, not, your, your hat has a wear and tear to yeah. it. It has the good solid yeah. bend. It has the good guy bend. Yep. Uh, there's a fucking lady just using a plunger on her giant vagina right now in the middle of the room. 
She's losing her She's mind at how fish hot coming you out are. Of you have a real fucking country name, goddamn motherfucking Cody Swindale. <laughs> have hey, you seen my boy Cody Swindale? He was behind that Colt guy. <laughs> Bunch of Texas ass names. Where's John Brown? <laughs> Did he go before Colt or after Colt? And then it was Cody Swindale. Like, you don't even hear these names other, only in Texas. Is it like, now up to bat, number 33, Cody Swindell. Yeah, right. What? Wow. Hey, you got the vibe of a crocodile trainer, you know? Yeah. Like, what sort of animals have you been around in your, in your time? And I'm not much of an animal guy. Most of my wife's dogs. Heck yeah, and that's just her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> your wife's got a bunch of dogs. Her family's a dog family, yeah. Yeah? Family. I'm what not kind of dogs? So much. What kind of dogs are we talking about? A bunch of bitches, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She's got like a little fat, like, uh, Shih tzu? beagle wiener dog mix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's yeah. probably a cat. He just doesn't know what a dog is. <laughs> he's, what like, a like, he's like, it's tiny, like, <laughs> a goddamn beagle ass wiener bitch. Beagle wiener dog. bitch. <laughs> it's a wiener, beagle wiener bitch a, cat. A bitch you know? ass beagle, kitten, <laughs> kitten donkey. It's a mouse, more a or less. Ki- little good old. <laughs> Kitten donk. Man, Cody, what, what else about you? What's some crazy, like, Texas shit about you? Like, what do you think is the, like, the craziest thing that you've done? Like, you ever go uh, four wheeling with a 12 pack of Mountain Dew or anything like that? Like, Code Red. Yeah. Cody Red. I'm probably not as outdoorsy. Hey, Cody Red's my first cousin's name. <laughs> Cody Red. Oh, shit. I'm, uh, I'm probably not as outdoorsy as my white trash hat signifies. Right. That's what do you got under the hat? Let's see here. What do we got under there? Oh, no, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. American history. I'm X, at that weird X, stage X. where the hair's going out, but it hasn't gone yet. So right. I gotta wear the hat. The hat's right. a good move. It's a good compliment to the beard. Has anyone ever told you you look like a white Demetrius Johnson? <laughs> That's badass. That'd be cool. Yeah. That is badass. So uh, you're not that animal-y, you're not that outdoorsy. Then what do you spend a lot of your time? What do you do for fun? How long have you been with your wife? We just got married last December. So. Congratulations. Congrats. What does she do? Thank you. Uh, she does customer service so oh, yeah. uh, for a restaurant, so she gets uh, a lot of crazy calls all Heck day. Yeah. Yeah. You would think working for a restaurant, she could feed you a little bit better. You'd think, yeah. <laughs> what restaurant? Yeah. Uh, it's a company that owns multiple restaurants. So she's not just on one. Olive Garden, Red Lobster. Uh, you have any? Uh, you have any? I used to own some of those. Yeah, I don't want to get your poor innocent <laughs> yeah. dog loving wife in trouble. Uh, you have any? Um, you have any uh, favorite uh, sexual maneuvers that you do in the bedroom? Any good old country like some like John Deere tractor good riding question. type of fuck? Is there a move that you would after you finish it you go? I call that the Cody. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Finishing. I just do whatever it takes to finish, and then I call that the Cody. You call, you call that, that the Cody? Cody? That's whatever it. Happens. All right. <laughs> Only yeah. dudes were applauding right there. Where, where, where's, your, where's your favorite place to finish in your place? Like, is it uh, on her boobs, on her face, in the fish tank? Like, on what the, are we yeah. talking about here exactly? If I had a fish tank, probably, but just... Right. Uh, that's what that fish tank is. What I call your wife's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been more clear. I got a, we got a different nickname. Yeah. <laughs> you, you ever you ever do a reverse bison girl? Bison <laughs> <laughs> girl. <laughs> we got longhorns out here, man. Uh, it looks a lot like reverse cowgirl, but the girl's going. <laughs> 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 oh Boo. my goodness. Boo. <laughs> Cody, your parents live in East Dallas as well. Yeah, they that's do. where you're they from. Do. What what type of uh, what type of work do they do? What, like, what do you have? You have like a real tough dad. Uh, you have yeah. three brothers. One brother, one older brother. I was the accident. I was like a decade, more than a decade later after my brother and sister. Hell yeah, I know. Did all you about decide that. that to be your label, or did somebody tell you that in the family? The twos were tied. I pushed my way through, though. I was getting through. Really? Tubes were tied? No, I made that up. Just right, right, right. Shitty right. joke, man. I'm sorry. You, went, you, treat, you untied it like it was a fishing knot or something like that. It's like, I already got this shit. My name's Cody Swindell, and I was built to be born. <laughs> wow. Good catchphrase. My goodness. I feel like he's just made of catchphrases. Yeah, like he is. Everything. We like, need a plush toy of you. Heck yeah. Luckily, get her done is taken, so I ain't got to use that. Yeah, what would be your get her done? 
You know, yeah. the way you live your life. Welcome like, to the sweet land of Cody Swindale. It'd probably be there, uh, just no words, just me putting my hat back on for relief. All right, well, I'm not buying that toy anytime soon. <laughs> uh, for the, relief, the remo- what's putting your hat, what, what's happening prior relief to the Relief for the crowd. I know that hurts their eyes, all that shining and shit, yeah. Weirdest thing you've ever put in your butthole? Great question. Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> I got a weird one with toilet paper. I haven't put much in my butt. Yeah. Uh-huh. But I one. lit the uh, toilet paper on fire with a candle because they didn't have a match. Uh-huh. Didn't throw it in the toilet because I thought the toilet would blow up. So I was a kid. I just yeah. called my mom in there thinking I was going to explode our bathroom. So then what, what, what happened? Where would you throw it? In your, in your butthole. Stomped it out. Stomped it out. Yeah. I should have done the butt thing, though, man. It's moist. You know the, those ear <laughs> things that you lit that gets the wax out? You know those like funnels yeah. Yeah, and no, stuff? Don't about. do that on your ass. I thought it would be <laughs> hilarious. It, it really hurts. Oh, boy. There you go. This is where Red Band tests out his new stand-up material. No, it's obviously. trying. <laughs> it's not stand-up. It hurts. Let me try this one. It, put this it. in my butthole. <laughs> Uh, that would kill my actually, internal hemorrhoid or something. It, uh, he does have internal hemorrhoids. Just that I can confirm because day. I had to confirm it. I literally <laughs> was like, really, huh? I mean, really, because you look like you would have external, external <laughs> hemorrhoids. Yeah, like my whole body's made out of external hemorrhoids. My goodness. Wait, what, what's this tattoo of on your uh, left elbow? Uh, it's, uh, you know the band of Data Remember? Nope. Nope. Uh, can, can you yeah. sing a line from one of their songs yeah. so that we might recognize them? It was a day to remember. <laughs> Don't forget today. I don't think I have well, a voice for Well, I woke it. up this morning and <laughs> grabbed my bottle of beer. Beer, 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 beer. A day to remember is actually about 9-11, so keep it easy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. Is that Way to true? pull the rug out from under the about? jug. Uh, I don't know what the band name was about, but they're a heavy kind of Oh, hardcore it's like band, heavy, yeah. heavy hardcore stuff. Yeah. All right. A lot of screaming. No, that's yeah. not, is that them? <laughs> so It's nice, so that's not them. Yeah. Well, let me ask you one last question. You said you have two brothers. One brother, one, one sister. One brother. Does he have a cool like NASCAR Texas name like Cody, too? Michael Swindell. Michael Ooh. Swindell. Yeah. Holy You're shit. You're running for office with that name, yeah, right? Absolutely. You're gonna, I mean, you got a George W. Bush over here. Yeah, competition. Him. I'm George W. Bush, and I proved this message. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cody, you think you and your wife are ever going to have kids? I think so. In you a have few any? Years. You have any plans? Are you gonna give them a NASCAR name? <laughs> Something. <laughs> Cody Jr. Cool? That is the name, man. NASCAR. NASCAR Swindell. God damn. I'm not I opposed. Love Definitely you. don't do that. But I'm not opposed. <laughs> <laughs> that kid will kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> but he'll be fast. He'll be fast. <laughs> Touche. Touche, Cody. You, <laughs> you fucking dude. You're right again. Every time I want to try to debate you on something, I just fucking back down. I'm like, that beard's going to come off and tackle me. <laughs> Cody, can we do something fun to end tonight's episode? Because I feel like, you know, we, I feel like we sort of pushed it to a limit going one extra comedian after Colt had this audience eating yeah. out of the palm of your hand. He Would you it. mind if we did something crazy here? Can we let Colt kick the hat off of your head to end tonight's Absolutely. episode? Absolutely. What a great fucking Let's have some fucking fun here. I love this kid. By the way, Colt, you're on my guest list for any show you ever want to come to for the rest of your life. Yes. Just based on being a good human. And the fact that your father's dying. That also plays into the role. I'm going to be your new daddy. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, to end tonight's episode. Don't you move, Cody. And don't fuck this up for me, Colt. Please don't kick this innocent man in the face. <laughs> And that's Kill Tony Plano, Texas. Woo! How about a hand for the great and powerful Adam Ray, everybody? Thank you. Two shows tomorrow, two shows the next night, right here in Plano. If you live super crazy fucking close to Plano and you're looking for something to do, fucking come back out again. Why not have more laughs? Adam and I have been friends for literally 12 years. I'm so happy that you were in town. I'm so happy that we got to play and have some fun I love tonight. you so much, Tony. About Give it up for Tony Hinsco. Tonight's podcast, his new album, Read the Room. It's the great Adam Ray. Come on, Texas, right over here. Let's see how loud this place can get for George W. Bush. Wowzers. I mean, 
boy, what a performance here tonight. Typical Jeremiah Watkins thunder. I was wondering all day why he was wearing that heavy leather jacket. Now it all makes sense. He wore this shit in a hundred degree heat when we walked out of the airport today. I, I had no idea he was going to be George Bush. Great character. Anything else uh, you want to plug? You got Reagan and Watkins, the new album. Jeremiah Wonders on uh, all podcasts. Everybody loves it. Jeremiah stand up on social media. Jeremiah Watkins on YouTube. And, and Reagan and Watkins, I believe, is going on tour. Phoenix, Arizona? Yeah, Phoenix, Arizona. And uh, Huntington Beach uh, at the rec room. Yeah. And then uh, also uh, check out old episodes of Jeremiah Wonders. Adam Ray's done it. Tony, Red Band, check out the roadcast. Uh, Jeff Ross was just on Jeremiah Wonders and got some great guests lined up for the I future. I love it. We got to do a, a Kill Tony sold-out show in Fort Worth tomorrow night. Still tickets available for this weekend stand-up shows. I'm, uh, I'm running a long set. A lot of it's going to be a lot of risk-taking fun because I've done Fort Worth. Fun fact, I am obsessed with when the smoke cleared in my career, I've come to realize Dallas is probably my one of my favorite cities on the planet. And, it, and, and it's become a problem because I come here so often that I don't like repeating jokes, but I still haven't taped my next special. So uh, I'm going to be doing crazy fucking experimental crowd work and running some brand new material all weekend this weekend in Fort Worth for four shows. Fuck Jeremiah yeah. Watkins featuring... Our friend Gage opening up the shows, uh, and that's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're bored this weekend, if you're around here, come see Adam Ray. If you're near Fort Worth, come see us. Uh, Red Band, you have a big show uh, in San Diego August 16th. <laughs> August August 17th, and also we do a uh, new Death Squad shirt at ShopSquad.tv. Check it out. And a new Kill Tony shirt about to come out on ShopSquad. That's right. And don't yeah. forget, we have shows coming up in, uh, in at Let's Fest in Indiana and uh, some, uh, some other ones coming up. Big announcement coming up right around the corner. And also, I do stand-up August 8th and 10th in Miami and September 5th through 7th in West Palm Beach, Florida, for those of you listening to the podcast from around the world. And also, of course, Kill Tony Man coming to Sacramento and San Francisco. Oh, I didn't mention this earlier. Ryan J. Ebelt made custom-made Texas uh, Kill Tony posters. If anybody wants, we're going to uh, we're going to sign them for you, and uh, we sell them. They're only twenty bucks each. There's also Kill Tony pins available. Death we'll Squad pins. Sign them for you. We'll take a picture with you. There's also a Tony Hinchcliffe pin. There's only a few left. If you want, I'll draw on the custom-made mustache with a sharpie. I'll even leave a little space in the middle. Anyway. Uh, Plano, this ended up being so much fun. Did you guys have fun? All right, we love you. We'll see you outside. Come say hi. Good night. Thank you. <laughs>